welcome to our tour of the University of South Dakota Library website. You will want to begin all of your research here at usd.edu backslash library. It is important to perform your research using the library website as your starting point. Because all of the library databases are interconnected through a user proxy, it will give you more immediate access to full text articles as we will show you later in this video. As you work through your program requirements and need research assistance, you can find your liaison librarian or subject specialist by clicking on About Us, Subject Specialists, scroll down to the Sanford School of Medicine and School of Health Sciences, and here you can email your librarian liaison directly from this page for assistance. Now we will show you how to find books, databases, specific journals, and the Social Work Research Guide. To find books, including electronic books, you may start your search using the library catalog. We'll start with a basic search using human trafficking as our search term. The search results are returned in reverse chronological order, meaning the newest publications will appear first on the list. If this particular book looks interesting, for example, you can click on it and then gain access to the book by clicking on this link. If you are curious as to whether this book mentions social workers or social services, for example, you may search for it. You can see where specifically those terms are used, indicated by the strength of the blue lines, and even click on each instance to jump directly to it. As you navigate the return search results, you will see ebooks, government documents, as well as materials with the location indicated as main collection, third floor. Main collection books are physical books that need to be checked out from the library. Distant students may request these titles through interlibrary loan. The library catalog may also return streaming videos that could be of interest to you as well. Moving back to the library homepage, we will look at databases. The USD library subscribes to over 300 databases, so to help direct your search, you may limit your scope to only health and medicine databases and hit submit. You may scroll through the database listing or click on the hotkeys at the top. We will click on C to jump to CINAHL Complete. We can search in only this database or we can view results from multiple databases applicable to social work at once. You may choose to click on Choose Databases and select other relevant databases for social work research. You may select, for example, Family and Societies Worldwide, Psych Info, Social Index, and Social Work Abstracts. We will now perform a basic search to see multiple ways in which motivational interviewing can be used to increase self-efficacy in children. We can use the search terms motivational interviewing, self-efficacy, and children. Because we are only interested in academic material as our sources, we want to further limit our results using the options on the left-hand side of the screen to academic journals and possibly dissertations, and then perhaps just material that has been published in the last few years. Let's say that article number four looks interesting to you. So in this case, we can click on the PDF to open the article and view the full text. Using the options on the right-hand side of the screen, you may choose to print, email this article to yourself, or export the citation into a software program such as EndNote. Okay. Going back to our search results, maybe you decide that article number eight looks interesting to you. It's important to note and had we limited our search to full text only, this citation would not appear in our results. Although this particular article is not available in the databases we are searching, we can click on the You Get It button 
and C that is available full text in another library database. Another database that is helpful for social work students is a streaming video database called Canopy. Notice this is Canopy with a K. This database features videos on various topics including incarceration, domestic violence, depression, as well as motivational and interviewing vignettes. Traveling back to the library homepage, we will now show you how to find a specific journal title. Let's say your instructor mentioned an article in class that you'd really like to read. You remember that it was in Child and Family Social Work and it was about child's views of moving into foster care. Since you're not exactly sure of the full title of the journal or whether the and is spelled out or an ampersand is used, choose the contains all words option from the drop down box. Enter child, family, social work. Since you know the article was published just a few months ago in May, you will want to click on the option with the most current access. In this case, we'll click on Wiley Blackwell, select May 2016, and enter Foster into the search box or scroll until you find the article. Back on the library homepage, click on Research Guides. The library has research guides or live guides to help you research on many topics, including social work. The social work research guide contains information to help you find articles, books, websites and organizations, and other information that you might find helpful. In the course of your research, you will likely need to utilize interlibrary loan to request materials not held at the USD libraries. This is a normal part of the research process as not any one library can contain everything ever printed on your specific research topic. You already have access to your interlibrary loan account by utilizing your USD login, which is your first name, dot last name, and your USD password. This will be the same credentials you will use to access the My USD portal. You will want to complete the user information. Be sure to use your USD email address, as that is the only way for this system to process your requests. Also, ensure that you complete your status as a distance student and select social work as your department. Once you have set up your account, you can request materials such as articles not held in full text by our university libraries. These articles will be emailed to you. This completes our brief tour of the USD Library website. If you need additional assistance, please feel free to email your social work librarian.